Hello everyone, welcome back to Treasure Lab. We all know that Apple has released the MagSafe battery pack for iPhone 12 series. We bought it immediately after it began to sell. So today we're gonna bring the teardown of this latest Apple's power bank to you. The official price of this product is 99 US dollars, same as HomePod Mini. Apple will release the smart battery case in the past, but it turns into this tiny thing this year. And it's compatible with the entire iPhone 12 series. Let's open it firstly. The front of the packaging is printed the product and it is the same size as actual product. Turn it back and it will show you how to use the battery pack. Compatible with MagSafe for iPhone with the latest version of iOS, that will be 14.7 or above. The other side is the specification label. Let's unpack the box first to see what's inside. A paper protective film is used to protect the Maxi battery pack from scratches. There are also some documents except for the product. This product adopts the plastic and pure white case. The edges are rounded. It'll be comfortable when you hold it and reduce the scratches. The matte surface can also reduce the fingerprint. The other side that attaches to the phone is gray. The circle is the wireless charging area and has built-in magnets. It can easily attach something. This part is used to fix the battery. The specification of the product are printed here. Model is A2384. The product name is MagSafe Battery Pack, which supports input of 5 volts to 9 volts 3 amp. Ready capacity is 1460 mAh or 11.13 watts hour. This product adopts lightning port and has an LED next to it. And then let's look at the size. Length is about 95.8 mm, the width is about 64.2 mm, the thickness is about 11.3 mm, and the weight is about 113 grams. The width is almost the same as the iPhone 12 mini, tiny and portable. When you use this battery pack with iPhone 12 mini, it can be easily attracted and display the MagSafe's pop-up animation. Not only can you see the battery capacity of your iPhone, you can also display the capacity of the battery pack. After connecting the lightning cable, both of them can be charged successfully. Okay, that will be all for our today's video. No, 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 no. The most important thing, of course, continue to tear it down. Let's see how it works and whether it is worth 99 US dollars. Let's speed up. Okay, the product has been opened. Let's take a look at the upper cover firstly. There are two coils attached to this cover. The large inner circle is capacitive sensing used to detect the distance between the phone and battery. The outer circle is an NFC detection coil and is connected to an NFC chip. The button part is covered with copper foil and there are two shields under it used to enhance heat dissipation. Let's look at the main part of the product the whole motor is fixed on the shell with 8 screws. The magnet ring around the upper coil is not glued and fixed, so it can be removed directly. We can see it consists of 16 small magnets, and there is a QR code. And this small magnet is glued and fixed on the PCB, because it is used to fix the battery when holding it. Let's take a look at the battery pack firstly, after removing the internal PCB module. There are two batteries of the same specification that are connected in series. Its voltage is 7.62 volts and total energy is 11.13 watts hour. The charging limit voltage is 8.7 volts. Battery capacity is 1,460 mAh, same as what was printed outside. But this capacity is based on 7.62 volts. If we calculate it by 5 volts, the capacity should be about 2,220 mAh. The manufacturer is Sunvanda Electronic. The battery uses this special connector to connect PCB, which is relatively rare in power bank. Continue to remove the battery. Metal heat sink and copper foil are attached to the shell. The battery brand is ATL. The energy of single one is 5.733 watts hour. 
the two batteries are connected to the protection board by sport welding. A battery fuel gauge chip is on the protection board from Texas Instruments BQ28Z610 and integrated protection function. And there are two metal shields at the bottom. The backside is completely attached to a metal plate to ensure heat dissipation. Next, let's open the two shields on the front. The master control for wireless charging is on the left. The back boost circuit and drive circuit of wireless charging coil are on the right. Firstly, let's look at the left circuit. The biggest one is the master MCU of ST Microelectronics with building 120 MHz high performance ARM of M4 core. Model is STM32L4S5ZI. This chip is Cypress CYPD2104, which is responsible for adjusting the adapter output voltage to meet the needs of wireless chargers. This one is the interface control chip from NXP used for USB PD fast charging. There are two synchronous back converters which come from Texas Instruments TPS62162 and have fixed output of 3.3 volts 1 amp. The middle one is Linear Regulator, which comes from Texas Instruments TPS70933 and supports output of 3.3 volts 150 mA. There is also a Cypress PSOC coprocessor CYHC4745. And then let's look at the right circuit. Firstly, you can see two inductors, so it has two voltage conversion circuits. The first one is the power supply circuit of wireless charging. This is a synchronous boost converter from Texas Instruments. It can power the wireless charging with the boost inductor next to it. There is also a shot key diode next to the chip used to improve conversion efficiency. The second circuit is the back boost circuit. This big black chip is the back boost controller which comes from Maxim's MAX77964. It supports input of 23 volts and output current of 3.2 amp which is suitable for charging two lithium batteries. And it also supports reverse bug and output, which can power the external devices. The inductor is next to it, used for voltage conversion of battery charging and discharging. There are two chips in here, but we can't get specific information about them. So if you know something, you can leave your comments below. We do appreciate that. Here is the customized wireless charging controller, which comes from ST Microelectronics, STWP-SPA1. It has built-in moist tube and driver to reduce components. Two moist tubes are next to it and form a full bridge with the two built-in switch tubes of this master control chip used to drive the coil. And there are four MPO resonant capacitors. Finally, the coil is wound with lead wire and fixed by a magnetic isolator. Well, that will be all for our today's stir down. I think the Apple Maxi battery pack is most suitable for iPhone 12 mini users because its width is perfectly matched with iPhone 12 mini and can double the battery life of 12 mini. As for other users, 